LeBron James. Big time flush. LeBron is the all-time scoring leader. Michael never allowed one championship series to get to a game seven. That's the most frightening thing a defender can see. You be the only guy back on defense and he's coming at you. LeBron has four NBA championships, yet Michael has six NBA championships. When it comes to this debate, people will likely choose Michael or LeBron based on how they performed in the league. But the problem is, you can't make a decision based on statistics alone. In order to come up with the answer, you're going to have to dig much deeper than that. Now, some claim that this debate is already over. They've already made their choice, and a lot of that could be based on the era you were a part of. So before we make a decision, we need to take a look Look at the bigger picture through the lens of the eras that Michael and LeBron played in, their impact on the game and their legacy off the court. In another video, Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp have a debate that cracks everybody up. <laughs> Steven was Team Michael and Shannon was Team LeBron. They asked viewers to give their vote after the debate on who they thought won. 64% of people thought Shannon won the debate over Steven, who had only 36%. During their discussion, both of them provide some very compelling points. To start, Shannon states LeBron was compared to Mike, but who was Mike compared to? Mike had to be a trailblazer right from the get-go. He wasn't the first pick in the 1984 NBA draft. In fact, he was third overall. Everyone knows he was cut from his high school basketball team. In his college years, he had to prove himself all over again with North Carolina, and the list goes on. Mike had to make a way for himself with nobody to model after. But on the flip side, LeBron was just a kid when he entered the league right out of high school. Other players like Kobe Bryant, Kevin Garnett, and Dwight Howard were also drafted right out of high school. So the spotlight was on LeBron immediately. He couldn't wait a few years to warm up the league and perform he had to do it now. Further, LeBron faced an intense amount of pressure from the media and scrutiny from a young age, which Michael didn't. LeBron had to live up to standards that most NBA players will never touch. At the end of the day, LeBron faced way more comparison than Mike did, but uh, this still doesn't completely answer our question about who the GOAT is. I genuinely don't understand what the hell you just yeah, said. Me With Steven's approach, he mentioned that Mike took the NBA to another level. He also claims that there was no one in Mike's class in his day. People feared Michael when they played him, and Michael was resilient. A perfect example of this is back on April 20th, 1986, during the first round of the NBA playoffs. Michael was in his second season when he suffered a significant foot injury where he missed out on most of the regular season. But he came back just in time for the playoffs. In game one against the Boston Celtics with Larry Bird, Michael made a record for the most points in a single NBA playoff game ever scored for a total of 63 points. To this day, no one has beaten that record. A comment came from Larry Bird after the game basically saying that Michael was God in gym shorts. With all that being said, Michael had no help like LeBron did. Let's look at the eras that Michael and LeBron played in. These two eras were vastly different in terms of style of play, competitiveness, and rule changes, so this is crucial to understand. Let's start with Michael's era. The 1980s and 1990s. Michael's career took place in the era known for his physicality and fierce competition. Advanced analytics and technology for tracking player performance were not as prevalent then, and scouting and game strategy relied more on traditional methods. Here are four differences we can note. Number one, hand checking was allowed back then. This meant defenders could use their hands and arms to impede the progress of offensive players. This made it more challenging for perimeter players like Michael to drive to the basket and created more physical play in the post. Number two, there was no defense 30-second rule in the paint. This allowed defenders to camp in the paint, making it more challenging for players to drive to the basket. Three, zone defenses were less common than due to the absence of a defensive three-second rule. Teams primarily played man-to-man -man defense. Number four, while the three-point shot existed, it was not as heavily emphasized as it is today. Yes, sir! Game from way down! Teams don't rely as heavily on the three-point shot as a primary scoring option. Furthermore, the league was filled with legendary players and teams like Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, and the bad boy, Detroit Pistons. Jordan faced a lot of stiff competition, often battling through tough playoff series to reach the finals. Now let's jump forward to the 2000s and 2010s. LeBron James, on the other hand, played in an era marked by rule changes that favored offensive players. At this point, hand checking was 
largely eliminated. The NBA introduced the defensive three second rule, which limits how long a defender can stay in the paint without closely guarding an opponent. Yeah, Cooligan really came on that. This increased opportunities for drives to the basket. On the flip side, the NBA also introduced rules that allowed zone defenses. Teams can now play zone defenses to disrupt offensive schemes, including double teaming star players like LeBron. And lastly, the three point shot has become a central aspect of modern NBA basketball. Teams now prioritize three point shooting on offense, and many players are expected to be good three point shooters. During LeBron's era, the NBA has become more globalized, with players from various countries making a significant impact. While there were certainly talented teams and opponents during LeBron's career, some argued that the competition was less intense compared to Michael's era. Now, the impact and legacy that both Michael Jordan and LeBron James have on and off the court is iconic. You know the saying, I'm just a kid from Akron, or I want to be like Mike. LeBron was often referred to as the chosen one. He revolutionized the position of small four. Goes all the way. He is one of the most versatile players in NBA history, and his longevity and sustained excellence at an elite level are remarkable. LeBron has been a dominant force in the NBA for over a decade. When LeBron left the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2010 to join the Miami Heat, this event was called The Decision. And this fall, I'm gonna take my talents to South Beach and uh, join the Miami Heat. It changed the landscape of player movement in the NBA and led to a trend of star players taking more control over their career paths. Moreover, LeBron's generous efforts, such as the LeBron James Family Foundation, have left a lasting impact on communities. He also has used his platform to address social and political issues. He's been vocal about issues such as racial inequality, police brutality, and education. LeBron's journey through a challenging upbringing to an NBA superstardom serves as an inspiration for many young players and the next generation making him one of the most influential figures in the history of the sport. He's shown that success can be achieved through talent, hard work, and dedication. Both Michael and LeBron players are basketball legends who have left an indelible mark on the sport. The era they played, their individual stats, their impact on the game, and legacies all contribute to their greatness. Ultimately, the choice between Jordan and LeBron as the GOAT often comes down to personal preference and the values one prioritizes in a basketball icon. Now, Michael's competitive spirit, work ethic, and killer instinct set a new standard for excellence. His influence extended beyond the court, helping to globalize the NBA and popularize basketball worldwide. He became a global ambassador for the sport and played a significant role in expanding its reach beyond North America. He led the league in scoring for 10 seasons and is a six-time NBA champion with the Chicago Bulls. He is known for his clutch performances in crucial moments and his ability to shut down opponents. His partnership with Nike led to the creation of the iconic Air Jordan sneaker line. The brand is still incredibly popular today and has transcended basketball, becoming a fashion and cultural phenomenon. Michael's success in marketing and endorsements paved the way for athletes to become global brand ambassadors. He was among the first athletes to earn substantial income from endorsements. Michael served as an inspiration for countless young athletes in the next generation including LeBron who aspired to be like him. His worth ethic and dedication became a model for future generations of basketball players. Beyond basketball, Jordan became a cultural icon. His impact extended to music. Brand new. Not even out yet. Entertainment and various aspects of popular culture. Michael's impact on basketball is not just about statistics and championships. It's about his lasting legacy as a symbol of excellence, competitiveness, and success. He played a pivotal role in making basketball a global phenomenon and remains a prime figure in the sport's history.